Shalom. <clears throat> I'm still by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arachakwadash. The bonus to the elder apostles and bishops and the great Muslim that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully like tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. If the Lord didn't shorten the days, there would be no flesh to be saved. You know, there's more report of our foods being contaminated, polluted, poisoned, and uh, now even your children. You know, you gotta vet the foods that you're buying your children, because even that stuff is loaded with chemicals, metals. There's definitely the shadow of death, man. There's the straight up hell. There's what we gotta deal with until this man is, you know, finally thrown down. But uh, now, if you if you've been buying your children lunchables, <laughs> stop stop buying them that. I mean, really, I would have never I, I'd never advise, you know, to buy that for your kids. But now it's official. You know, don't don't even get that. Because now it's being reported that they have uh, high levels of lead and sodium. And that's definitely harmful and dangerous. So uh, let me just play this little clip here. A little box filled with deli meat, cheese and crackers. A snack so convenient it's almost irresistible. But these easy meals aren't as harmless as they seem. Lunchables made by Kraft Heinz contain disturbing amounts of lead and sodium. Amy Keating, a dietitian at Consumer Reports, says these kits are processed and may increase the risk of some cancers. They don't. And that's the key. A lot of this stuff in the stores that are, you know, packaged up in the middle aisles. A lot of this stuff is uh, processed. So that means that they, you know, that a lot of these foods have been enhanced with chemicals, and um, is none of it is good for your, your, your body. Uh, it, 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 um, it causes, you know, different, um, complications, chronic illnesses, cancers, like you just mentioned. None of it is good for you. And you know, it's daily consumed every single day, and that's the reason why. Everyone is sickly. Even the children are sickly because the, 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 the poor choice of foods that we have is all trash. And yeah, we just simply got to get the hell up out of here, man. So, yeah. You know, even your children's snacks ain't safe. You know, basically your best bet at this point is just, uh you know, pray over you know, whatever it is, the best that you can do, you know, with what you have and you just, you know, pray over it because uh, nothing that we really touch on this side is uh, quality is not good. All right. So um, let me finish this out and then we'll get a few precepts. See legal limits, but five out of 12 tested products surpass half of California's maximum allowable amount of heavy metals. So not only do you got to worry about, you know, your, your, your cereal that you're feeding your children, but now your Lunchables and then your water is filled with um, what they call it forever, forever uh, chemicals in your water supply. So you just not it's just not safe all around because, you know, they're they're polluting everything. And I figured, you know, I, I honestly believe it's, it's, it's all done uh, systematically because, uh, you know, you have a, a, a hierarchy of uh, diabolical demons who's uh, set on depopulating the, the planet. You know, it makes sense why we're getting all these uh, sudden recalls on very different, um, you know, things that we purchase you know, fruit, vegetables, 
snacks, drinks, everything is uh, recalled. So, we I I really believe that uh, you know this devil this devil is um he's trying to reduce the population by various means, and this is uh, one of those ways that he can do that. You know, contaminating, poisoning your food supply. Yeah, this is this, this is what we got to deal with. 3.2 ounce turkey and cheddar cracker stack as Lunchables, for instance, has 74% of California's allowable lead level. Eric Boring, a CR chemist, highlights that these kits provide only a small fraction of the daily calories while nearing the maximum limit for lead. So next time when you reach out for that convenient snack box, think twice. Is it really worth it? Yeah, that's why we got to stay prayed up, man. All right. Breaking Lunchables have been found to contain dangerous amounts of lead. New research has also shows that Lunchables have chemicals found in plastics that have been linked to reproductive problems, diabetes, and certain cancers. So, we got to get the hell out of here. That's, that's all we can really, you know, hope for. Let me get this in our lamentation, of course. In this lamentation, 3 and 22, and it says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. And that's what's, you know, keeping us alive and preserved is the Lord's mercies. You know, otherwise we'd all just be dropping dead from, you know, all this uh, poison that we're taking in, you know. <laughs> this, this man, he, that's why he's going to pay dearly. He's going to pay dearly. In our kingdom, man. Because this is, you know, how inhumane. I'm pretty sure the elites don't have to worry about this. All the super rich, all the food that they didn't hoard it up over the years, they ain't got no worries at all. They ain't got to worry about recalls on their products, the shit that they got stored up. That's for basically the the, the everyday people, the, the, the goyim, if you will. This is what, you know, we got to uh, worry about. But it's all right, though, because they day is coming. So, you know, we just got to eat our, our bread defiled like the scriptures say. Let me get that real quick. <clears throat> but never again, you know, because this, this devil, you know, when he gets taken down, the earth is going to be cleansed. This is uh, Ezekiel 4 and 13, it says, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. All right, so came, uh, prophecy can't be broken, man. Um, let me see. Uh, look up that word, defiled. And the word is uh, Dame. And it says, foul in the religious sense, defiled, infamous, polluted, unclean. All right. Yeah, I mean, if you eat meat offered unto idols, that would be considered defiled. But when we say our prayer in the name of the Lord, you know, it, it, it becomes like it's clean. All right. But even in this... Uh, you know, a, a physical sense, it's all defiled because it's, it's you know, it's, it's laden with, with chemicals, which is poisonous. All right. And Esau, he, you know, he, he understands how our body works, but he still deliberately throws these things into our food supply. Because, hey, like the scriptures say, you know, they sleep not except they have uh, done mischief. You know, they, they only intend on, you know, mischief, you know, wickedness. Cause some type of uh, physical or mental uh, harm. 
So that's why that's all he's going to get in our kingdom until he's finally disposed. All right. Let me get a revelation. Revelation 8, 11 and 18, it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come in the time of the of the dead, that they should judge, it's like that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And uh, when you constantly spraying chemicals over the earth, you know, uh, Pesticides. All right, when you you know uh, leaking uh, metals and stuff like that into uh, the water, you're destroying the earth. No wonder why uh, certain species are dying off. No matter, no no wonder people are, are are growing sickly at an alarming rate. Cancer is up high. Diabetes is up high. Uh, uh, obesity is, is high Because if the man that's in power He's destroying the earth All because of his, his greed So yeah, they, these, they, they gotta pay man Let me get um, Psalm 62 Yeah, Psalm 62 and uh, 3 it says How long will you imagine mischief against a man You shall be slain all of you As a bowing ball shall you be And as a tottering fence The Lord gonna maul you devils down man Cause this is, this is extreme evil Though even the, the, the children Their, their, their uh, life expectancy is not gonna be so great <laughs> because they they got they they got to be exposed to a poisonous diet. You got to be the one to, to to you know watch everything they put in they in their mouth, and you know uh, these schools, you know the the lunch programs that they own. You know that they don't vet the the food that they give them. They just simply do their job and they just give them whatever. You know. So they'll still at your school give them those lunchables. Foolish. I remember being back then when I was in uh, you know grade school. Food was trash, man. I I I, I would drink the milks maybe, eat an apple. I didn't really want to eat the food. The food was 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 trash to me. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't as dangerous as it is now. Back when I was in a uh, grade school, this is straight up hell, man. All right, and that's, and all we can hope is that the Lord just, uh, you know, sick, you know, sake the day, meaning you know, speed up the the times for our sake and for our children's sake. This is uh Second Ezra two and verse uh, thirteen and it says Go and you shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. Yeah, because we it would be no it would be no flesh to be saved if, if the Lord doesn't. You know, this is this is getting absurd. You know, every day is a new alert about you know, some type of new contamination on our food supply. So it's like nothing is safe anymore. Nothing. Even your vegetables, your your, your fruits. You know what are you know what they're spraying spraying on them because they want to keep the bugs off of them or whatever. Shit is all poison, man. You have to you know put some um, what's that stuff uh, that that uh. That gray peroxide, that peroxide, you know, just to just to clean it off. 
It says the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Yeah, you know, and that's what we're waiting on. You know, the the the, the kingdom. You know, where we know that um, you know, our children will be safe. Our food won't be uh poisoned or contaminated. You know, these devils will finally be put down, put in chains, so they ain't gotta they ain't got access to nothing. Or else, you know, this is what you get. All right. This man, he 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 take what is for good and he turns it into evil. What's that in uh, Sirach? Yeah, Sirach thirty nine. All the things that are principal or central to us, he takes that and he turns it in, into evil. Man, he he poisons it. Uh, Sirach thirty nine and twenty five. It says, "For the good are good things created from the beginning." So evil things for sinners. Hey, and back in the beginning, he said, and 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 it um, he saw that it was good, right? Everything that they made from uh, uh, the creeping things on the earth to uh, the, the the trees and the the, the 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 greens, the herbs, you know, that's that that was meat for us. Everything was was good. But what this devil do? Nah, that ain't good enough. We either gotta poison it or we gotta uh, genetically splice it artificially, and then put put the nutrients that we took out of it into it artificially, and think that we're we're supposed to live <laughs> a, a long life. This man is as deaf for sure. It says the principal things for the use of man's life are water. That's poison. Fire, iron. And you got to get get that in supplement form. You know? And salt. That's not even safe because, you know, you're getting uh, that, that bleach salt. That's not good. You got to, you know, deal with the um, uh, pink Himalayan salt. That white salt is is is, is that that shit is uh not good. Flour of wheat, you got bleach uh, flour now, right? That's not good. Uh, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape. And they put sulfites in there. And oil and clothing, all these are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. And Esau, you know, he's a sinful man. That's why the scriptures talk about the man of sin being revealed. Because, you know, he doesn't uh, regard the Lord's creation and he's not going to govern the world by the Heavenly Father's instructions, which are contained in the laws of the Most High. So that's the reason why the earth is suffering under the inhabitants. Isaiah was at 20, Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24 and uh, 4 says the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away, meaning it is losing its strength. The hardy people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Let me get that in the NLT. It says, <clears throat> verse 4, it says the earth mourns and dries up. The crops waste away and wither. Even the greatest people on the earth waste away. The earth suffers for the sins of its people. For they have twisted the Most High's instructions, violated his laws, and broken his everlasting covenant. And Esau, he's the one that took the covenant in his mouth. He claimed to be the Lord's people. And didn't abide by uh, the book. So when he gets judged... The, the the books will be open, and 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 they will be cast into that that lake that burneth with with fire and brimstone for sure. They then twisted his instructions, violated his laws. Now they're trying to outlaw it. They're trying to get rid of it because it's no longer convenient for them anymore. Matter of fact, it actually exposes them. So now they don't want to hear it anymore. After they didn't used it to colonize and enslave everybody. So, yeah, it's, it's a wrap for him. 
okay? You want to you wanna poison everybody? The earth got to suffer. That's why in due time, the Lord's going to set over one, set over it one that is profitable. Yeah, so rock 10. And uh, three, it says, an unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them that are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is prof profitable. And Esau, he's, he's not profitable for the earth, for this planet. All right. He's out for himself. So the Lord's going to take the, the world from him and, you know, put it back to his rightful owners, which is Yahweh Shai, first and foremost. And the governing body, which is uh, the elect of, of Israel. All right, and the law is going to go forth out of Zion, and that's when the nation is going to learn how to keep the land Sabbath. All right, they're going to learn how to, you know, not pollute the land where they live. All right, they're going to learn that, you know, blood is the life of a man. So you don't eat blood. You don't drink blood. You're going to learn all these things, man. They're going to learn to, to leave the ecosystem, let it be the way the Lord naturally designed it. They're going to learn to not uh, cut, stop cutting down all the trees, start with the deforestation. So everything's going to, you know, uh, uh, be replenished. Rejuvenated when his when his devil finally goes goes down. All right. So, just you know, just want to uh, report that you know, you brothers and you sisters out there, you know, if you've been feeding them this, don't feed it. You know, don't 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 get that for them. You know, you come up with your with your own snacks to 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 put together for them. You know, make sure they got the right nutrition. And uh, you know, say you know, say say prayers, man. All right, you teach your you know children how to pray. So, Khan, with that, let me give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai Shalom.